Hi to everyone who's watching this video. My name is Sayed Ali Asher and I'm from Curtin University, Dubai. And this is my second progress video of my CTP2 which is called DocChain. And this application is used to verify certificates using the blockchain technology. This project is supervised by Mr. Hassan Ismail. So this progress video would be quite brief and we would be talking about the smart contract that I've built and a little bit about the front end as well. So let's start with the smart contract. Uh, so the smart contract would be deployed on the blockchain and of course the document won't be stored on the blockchain uh, but the block timestamp and the hash would be stored itself. Uh, so what's the reason we won't be storing the document on the blockchain itself? The first reason is that that storing a document in the blockchain would cost a lot of money and storing it on the online database will cost some security issues. So this is where the IPFS comes in. So IPFS uh, protocol is designed to make the web faster, safer and more open and it has the P2P protocol to share and store the files. So we would be using IPFS in our project uh, which would enable the users to upload the document on the IPFS so they can download it back using the IPFS hash. So I have worked on a little bit of the front end as well but firstly we would be uh, going through the smart contract which I've built okay so this is the smart contract which is on your screen right now and um, we have named this contract certi verify and it is written in solidity that's why it's dot sol so we would be proceeding to the coding of it and I would be giving you some brief about all these functions so the first three commands are for the mapping and you would comment out as we go along so for the first one uh, mapping documents so over here we would be storing the document not the document exactly you would be storing the date and time against the file hash so I can just comment out right now storing date and time again file hash sorry for that file hash or we can just come down later on because it would take a lot of time so we can proceed and, um, and similarly the command down below we would be storing the added name against the adder key so that was the mapping stage and the next we would be writing the function so for the first function it's called add which is very self-explaining that we would be adding the document on the blockchain you can see it over here that it would be hashed and uh, and the block of timestamp would be stored in the blockchain and the next one is verify doc which is also very self-explaining that we would be verifying the document uh, using this function and for the next two functions get adder key and get adder name we would be we would be gathering the information of the adder and for the last function we would be setting the adder name so this is for the smart contract and uh, I would just run the program once and I can show you what what my blade is exactly so this is the files we have right now and this is the migration javascript files uh, we have the deploy contracts uh, in which we have the certi verify which which is supposed to be deployed and the initial migration which is the basic file for the truffle uh, framework so uh, i would be downloading all the nodes which basically is uh, npm install all the dependencies are in this file and you can have a quick look at it it is a very vast and it is a very um, large file and because it has all the dependencies which we would be using not all but just in case we should have all the dependencies so let's install I'll just skip through it so as we are going along we might have some errors on the terminal but that's okay because uh, we won't be using all the dependencies so it, that's okay if you get some errors there's no issue in the program for the so here we are done installing all the dependencies I told you that we will get some errors but that's okay so we would clear the terminal now so as you can see that we have created a folder in our working project folder which has all the dependencies so next we would be going into the truffle console Sorry. Develop. 
and uh, we have to compile and migrate the contracts we have created and it could be migrated onto the blockchain so first we would compile it and you don't have to worry about these private keys and the accounts because we will be working on Ganache okay so we have compiled our contracts and you can see over here we have uh, the contracts which are built which are compiled so let's go back and now we have to migrate it to the blockchain we will be using the command migrate and you can see over here that our contract has been migrated to the blockchain so uh, we would be going back so this project is not yet in working order but i've created the front end a little bit i'm working on it right now the animations and the javascript and adding on uh, i haven't mentioned this earlier that uh, we would be using the sha 256 kind of encryption in this project and uh, this would be the file where the encryption would be taking place uh, this would be used for the encryption okay moving on uh, why do we exactly need the sha 256 uh, because as we are storing the actual file in the database uh, we would have to need a large storage so we need some way to map the document uniquely and precisely so for this mapping we are using this hashing which is called the SHA256 hashing method and this method uh, operates in the manner of MD4, MD5 and SHA1 so uh, moving on we would be just uh, launching the project and just having a glimpse of how the front end would look like uh, which is not yet configured but uh, the a little glimpse is ready so we can have a look at it so we can just put the npm and start and here is uh, the first glimpse of the project and we would be having an upload and download page from which we can of course upload and download the document and uh, this would be probably with the admin panel and this would be the user panel that which a user can go and verify their hashes so that's about it and uh, I would be giving out uh, the final project in my next video so thank you for watching thank you for sticking through so that's about it for now and I really appreciate you being here and watching this video thank you